Now, I am not with that Native American or Mexican belief system that goes with some Hebrews, but I will say that this sister brought up a major point and it's a conversation that we don't have enough. We're often focused on tasks, the transatlantic slave trade slash really world war, um, but we don't talk enough about the Arabic slave trade. We don't talk enough about that. So I think that um, one of the things that Islam has been able to do is guard themselves oftentimes from scrutiny. And especially in light of what's going on in today's news with um, the Palestinian and Israeli conflict and all of the actors in the Middle East that are getting involved. But in terms of how uh, our people historically have been impacted by the religion of Islam, it's something that um, it needs to be discussed because this is worldwide bondage that our people were held into and we are still in all the lands of our captivity. So I want y'all to take a listen to what Sis has to say. Shalom. Have you guys not noticed how our men will go to prison and return home Muslim? This comes from the lack of understanding of who they are, who their ancestors were, and what happened during the Trans-Saharan slave trade. Do they even know that Allah means the God of Islam power? Do they not know that the Mecca was a slave trade where their ancestors were sold and their blood is drenched in the soil? Do they not know that Mecca is a form of idolatry? And the Most High God of Israel spoke about these curses in Deuteronomy 28. Do they also not know that Malcolm X visited the Mecca in 1964 and the Trans-Saharan slave trade was abolished in 1962? So if he arrived there two years, three years sooner, he would have been a slave himself. Do they not know Muhammad Ali was a merchant who could not read or write and he learned from the Israelites? Or that he betrothed a six-year-old girl and married her at nine years old? The reason I say all of this to my men who are so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans is that you are the children of Israel. Come out of these man-made religions. They're not the way. This whole world has learned from the Israelites and are keeping you asleep. You are not Muslim. You are a holy people above all people. So say the God of Israel, the King of all kings, the eternal one. That's you. That's who you are. So. Now we see that there are a lot of protests that are going on in the United States, um, in New York, in California, at a lot of the university levels. I think at the same time that we're seeing this, we need to be aware that these are the uh, things that the powers that should not be, that they put in place to keep the people confused about what's really going on. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm watching all of this with a guarded heart because I know that when it comes to all of these conflicts, that war is money. So at the end of the day, even when you see the Iran conflict, you see... Uh, the Israeli response, Israeli conflict, Iranian response. At the end of the day, how is this impacting us? How is this impacting us as an Israelite people? Especially when we consider that this is political uh, circusing. So for example, we have both parties. We have the Democrats and we have the Republicans. We have the left and the right side. And many of us are aware that it doesn't matter what side it is, two sides of the same vulture. But when it comes to this particular situation with these nations that are outside of the U.S., it's like all of a sudden we're being pitted to take sides. Either we take the Israeli side or we take the Palestinian side or we take the Iranian side. We take sides of what nations, all of them have every bit to do with our subjugation so none of them are innocent when it comes to our regard they are all guilty and so we need to be thinking about that in light of how we view politics and how we view our ideological positions and how we deal with our support of these world systems i think we need to sit back mind our business be prayerful and wash the hand of the most high yahuwah do what he's got to do on the earth so that true yasharel will rise and the changing of the guard will set well that's all i have for today let me know what you think in the comment section below about this sister's take on islam the sister's take on our uh people and their leaning towards that religious system um, and always as always like share comment and subscribe if you have not done so as well as support this platform and you could do so by way of cash app paypal super thanks or you can become a member or a patron so thank you again for your support and i look forward to seeing you the next time blessings